Hello and welcome back to the Coffee Vanners. So today we have had the privilege of being uh, allowed by Robinson's Caravans to come and have a look at some dealer specials. So as you know, we have the Robinson's dealer special from 2021 and now they've all been updated. We're gonna have a look at some of the caravans in the range for 2022 so yes there we are robinson's caravans 2022 dealer specials your thoughts al initially nice to be here nice to be invited and this is why i said to you i have something under my heart and this is it they are absolutely fantastic looking caravans so if you're looking for one of the eldest dealer specials robinson's have a fantastic range of demos here to look at so you can order a new caravan if you wish as a first impression this is a fantastic place here in works off isn't it it is and they are very well presented so all the caravans have the lights on they're all powered up and you can see exactly what you've got and as you can see from this camera view uh, it's light and airy in here so we should be able to get some good uh, pictures for you to see. So apologies for the camera keep zooming in and out. I have no idea I'm unable to turn that off. Uh, but we'll try and get you uh, some real good look at, or a real good look, at the dealer specials of the Eldest range. So these are the Sherwood Caravans. So stick with us and we'll make a start. Good morning. Today we're looking at the Eldis Sherwood, which is the dealer special of the Avanti 585. Now this is a brand new dealer special for 2022. So what we're going to do is have a look around the caravan. We're going to start on the offside, look at what extras we get, and then we'll take a look inside. We'll swap cameras and Ali will talk to you about the inside of the caravan. So let's take a look around the offside. What's fantastic about this caravan is that they've gone this year for this silver grey side, still sticking with the grey and gold graphics, but we've moved away from the white boxes to a nice grey cover. Absolutely fantastic there. At the back of the caravan on the 585, we'll start with the cassette for the toilet, and of course there's no flush on this, so it's fed from the internal water. Last year the, the spats with the white sides were silver, this time we've got a nice white line and white spats over the wheel arches. Lovely wheels as always on the Eldis and the Mark Lights. As we move forward in the caravan we get the battery box and the mains hook up on the offside and of course the whale slide water inlet point which is absolutely fantastic. I do like these graphics, this gold and grey look really nice and the Sherwood badging of course. Moving to the front, we have same as last year, the white with, the, with silver looks really nice, Sherwood badging, room in there for two gas bottles, if that's actually locked so I can't let you in there, uh, but there's plenty of room for two grass bottles and also we actually store the levelling ramps and a few other bits and bobs in that locker, it's a nice size. As always we've got the Alcor chassis, Alcor hitch and stabiliser and the Alcor ATC, the trailer control. So the price for this as we can see, 24639 Moving round to the near side. We have the gas barbecue point. Again, nice slide point on there. Again, the Sherwood graphics. In here we have storage under the bench, but we also have the two 40 volt sockets for external use in the awning. Just a quick word on the weight. This is a 1500 kilo MTPLM caravan. So it's a good weight to be towed with a family car. 
moving along. Of course, with the door, we get the window and screen. Fantastic awning, uh, light above, and the staple door. As we can see from the fridge vent, we've got a full-size fridge in here, which is going to be great for family use. And again, at the rear, we've got the storage locker under the rear bed. So what we'll do is we'll take a look inside uh, and see just how great it looks. Good morning and welcome into the 585. This is your lounge area and it's like a grey with a like pinky grey colour interior. Your cushions are to match which is like a rose gold and like a cream and it's got piping around the edges which matches the cushions your curtains are cream and like a grey suede and then you've got your blinds which are pleated blinds and behind that will be your fly screen and if we go over to this corner there's a socket and two USB chargers for your phones and the likes of that and you've got your drawers here and this pulls out so you can extend it and it's the lovely light oak effect really nice makes the caravan airy you've got the cupboard there what your radio goes in and that's your aerial for your TV and that's another cupboard for storage nice size that Ali it is good size and you've got two more cupboards on this side for storage and they're quite nice sizes as well that one's got a shelf in you've got your lights in the corner you've got four of them you've got your star there's a roof with your spotlights round which makes it quite light then you've got a little table what you can put up here for drinks and that then this is I tell you what Al, that's a nice lounge isn't it it's gorgeous I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come round you and turn round and what we'll do then is we'll have a look at the kitchen eh yes. and, and see what we've got here but before we do I just want to point out that the from all the Sherwood range come with the whale total heat system so this is the digital touch panel to control both the water and heating resets are below should you ever need them this is a fantastic system we have done a video on the whale system uh, and an interview with the director from Wales. so i'll put a card above and a link below so you can actually see that being spoke about by whale themselves below there is the mains outside switch which does the does the offside awning light and the locker box light on the outside so i think i'll turn around and then we'll have a quick look at the kitchen eh yes we'll do that here we are in the kitchen of the caravan you've got your cover for your sink which you can use as a worktop you've got a lovely round sink and that's your tap good size that sink Ali. it's bit bigger than ours you've got two sockets for kettle wherever you want the switches for your lights you've got a nice mirror a nice window with the plated blinds you've got three gas hubs one electric and then you've got your glass top that comes down that you can also use as a worktop you've got glass splash back at the side that looks identical to the cooker we've got in our caravan which is absolutely is. fantastic isn't it yes it is and below you've got your grill you've got your oven good size that oven isn't it, it is we've, we've managed to cook a three course sunday 
lunge on, on, on that co identical cooker, so it's yeah. a good size, isn't it? Yes, it definitely is. I'll tell you what as well, is that with that cupboard below, we keep all our pots and pans in there, don't we, including a full-size wok. We keep all of our pans in the cupboard, because, like you can see, it's good size under the oven. Then you've got a big cupboard for storing stuff. Ah, oh, and that's the draining board. Yeah. Right. And you've got your knife and fork drawer, which is the top one. And you've got one, two, and that's where your water thing is for your water when you put your water oh, in. How on. easy is that just to open that and plug yeah. that switch to drain down the heated? Absolutely fantastic. And we'll go up to the top. That's for your plates in your cup, a cupboard. And that's quite a big cupboard compared to ours. Much bigger van than ours though, so yeah. you would expect that, wouldn't you? And you've got another cupboard. They are a really good size, aren't they? They are. And as we turn, Round the other side of the kitchen, Alice is look at this. Guess what? Alice can see in the microwave. She that's the, that's the big it. caravan test, really, isn't it? Yeah. Where the microwave is and the height, and that's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Is. it? Good microwave as well, isn't it? It yes. seems to heat stuff up very quickly. Yes. We, you know, it's the same one as we've got in ours. You've got another cupboard for top of the microwave, what you could store stuff in. You've got a shelf for your TV with your plug sockers, and your aerial, and, and your everything. Would have been nice with having that 12 volt socket if there'd been a couple of USBs there, wouldn't yes. it? Yes, but it would. St still, that could easily be done or asked the dealer to do. And then underneath, underneath, you've got another nice drawer, drawer. And you've got a cupboard with the shelf. That's what cares of boots though, isn't it? Get your yeah. shoes in, bring them in, put them out of the way. And as we go over, you've got the big fridge freezer, which is ideal for a family. Lovely and big, that. That's perfect for a family van, isn't it? Yes, definitely. If you're going away for a week or so, that's absolutely spot on. And above the fridge freezer, you've got another cupboard. Probably ideal there for storing your cereals and things, you yeah. know, stuff you're not you're only using once a day. Got to say, this is a really nice kitchen area, isn't and, it? Yeah, there's another cupboard. Cupboard below as well. It's a lot of storage space in this one, Al. There is. Absolutely loads. So what we'll, we'll do now is we'll just take a walk through. We'll have a look at the back of the caravan before we go into the washroom because the bedroom at the back of this family van is absolutely fantastic. And it being the brand new 585 for this season, uh, it, this has just been released. This is a totally new layout. And what they've done with this is absolutely fantastic. So we'll take a walk to the back of the caravan. Right, we're in the back of the caravan. And as you can see, it's an L-shaped lounge the back which makes into a double bed and that's your bunk I think that's great that as well as pulling out into a double bed we've got that storage underneath on both sides so this this side You've got we can actually get to that storage as well as getting to it from the outside and you've got storage under there just looking at that all oh, nice uh, nice place to have the that's a nice place to have the point for the for the heating outlet yeah that should really warm that that back area up as well there's another storage just a little one it seems a storage all over the place in this one doesn't it and this is really the the piece de resistance isn't it this rear lounge area yeah. 
you've got the sockers, you've got your aerial and your 12 balls here. So if you've got children, they can sit and watch their telly here. And you just relax in the front. Then we've got one, two cupboards on this side above the TV area. And they're good sizes. Then you've got three cupboards, which are all good sizes, above the bunk bed. Fantastic. Lots and lots of storage in this caravan. Just what you need in a family van though, isn't it? Yes. Uh, nice, nice roof light above as well. And of course the rail, so you can separate the rear off from the front with a curtain. That's a fantastic view, Control. isn't it? In here, at the side of the bunk beds, is your wardrobe. And it's got your table in for the front lounge. That is enormous, isn't it? It is. It, it is an enormous size wardrobe. You know, your ladders for your bunk, bunk, everything. Yeah, and the curtain. Uh, Really doesn't do it justice, but that with the rail at the top, that is a massive wardrobe. And you've got one, two, three, three drawers, and another cupboard for storage. That's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. I've never been in a van with so much storage. Right, let's have a quick look in the washroom, Ali. Right. <laughs> this is the washroom. You've got your shower. And the eco camel head on top. Yes, which is brilliant. You've got the sink, which is the squarish one, oblong type one, where mine's around one. A little bit bigger than mine. Yeah, nice size that. Yeah. Nice size that. And you've got your mirror. Don't know if you can see too well, but there's LEDs up the side of that mirror as well, isn't there? Yeah. Looks really nice. Plenty of light in there, having the two spotlights and the LEDs. And you've got another cupboard to put your shampoos and toilet rolls and that in. That's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's got your flush inside. Again, nice touch, isn't it? Having the toilet roll yeah. holder there and the, and the flush on the wall. The toilet, really nice. And another cupboard. Loads of cupboards in this van. <laughs> again, the LEDs at the top. That is seriously light and airy, isn't it? It is, yes. Well, let's take a look back into the lounge and just do a final round up because there's one thing there I see that we've missed and what we've missed is in the kitchen we have another hecky light for condensation to get out I do like that stargazer and that front sun window yeah. lets a lot of light in doesn't it yeah and it's not overdone in this van because it's so, so big. The lighting is absolutely perfect. It's not overpowering, it's is not it? It's not black illumination for eight hours. Yeah. So that, the large Dometic fridge, the Thetford oven and hob. Yeah. The colours are absolutely fantastic, aren't they? Yeah. Not too dissimilar from ours. No. But really, really nice. They've changed the piping from ours. Yeah. On there. So there we are folks, that's the <coughs> Elvis 585 <coughs> Sherwood edition and that's the whole range you can see there of the Sherwood models. So all that's left to say is a massive thank you to Robinson's Caravan for hosting us today and allowing us to look round 
the caravan and to bring it to you on the channel. Uh, fantastic time. Yeah. If you need the details for Robinson's Caravans to come and have a look at these special editions, all the details are in the description below with links to their website as well. So you take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra! Ta-ra!